Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So this week is another video on Manus because they've released some new functionalities that I want to explore. So I think this is what my fifth video on Manus. Uh, I am on the subscription model now because of all of the functions that I found so invaluable. If you're interested in watching me explore a new functionality on Manus, then please keep on watching. So here I am on my Manus account and of course I mentioned I've had I've got a subscription. You can see here you can uh, create an image, slides, web pages, spreadsheet, visualization which I talk about in my previous video. Uh, you can create video, audio and playbook but what I wanted to do was explore some of the new functionalities that they released just a week ago. I'm going to press here so if you explore what's in basic and then I'm going to play their 40 second video on what wide research is and then we're going to give it a try. So let's just play here. Introducing wide research. Got a mega task to dig into? 50 companies to profile? 100 leads to track down? Don't sweat it. Now Manus handles it in minutes. With wide research, one short prompt, big wide research. Just tell Manus your research goals. Manus splits the job into multiple subtasks, finds the data, and runs everything in parallel. Everything happens all at once. No matter how complex, no matter the scale, you'll never need to manage multiple windows again. Prompt once, run wide. No more digging. Leave it to Manus. That looks pretty impressive and I can't wait to try. So I'm going to press try now. And then here it says, okay, so it's given me an example of a prompt. Let me see whether I want to use this or not, because, you know, I, I don't like to just waste uh, resources, data, water, just by uh, creating uh, AI outputs that are not going to be any use to anyone. So let me just read this and then I'll decide like whether I'm going to use it. So this is compare 100 consumer sneaker models across multiple dimensions core features, pricing models, target user segments, design aesthetics, resale market metrics, brand revenue performance, and publish a comprehensive uh, sortable comparison matrix online. Okay, I don't really want to do that. So what can, let me just uh, modify this prompt then. I want it to be really uh, based on uh, education. So let's compare a hundred, let's change that to AI models, okay? Uh, for, I'm going to say for education. Okay, so rather than across multiple dimensions, I'm going to say for education here, core features, pricing models, target user segments. Yep, I can still do that. Design aesthetics, uh, resale metrics. I don't need that. Okay, brand revenue. I don't need that either, but I can publish. Uh, comprehensive sortable comparison. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. So compare 100 AI models for education. Okay, so I'm just going to press here. Uh, I've got upload files if I need it, adaptive, agent. Okay, so let's just press here. Apparently, I'm in uh, wide research mode already, and I'm not sure how long this is going to take. So Sometimes uh, when I work with Manus and I want something comprehensive like a paper or research and references, it takes up to about 10 minutes. So if this is going to take a while, let me just move over here so you can see what's happening. Then I'll hit the pause button and come back. But what it's going to do is it's going to research and identify AI models for education, collect detailed information on each AI model. Excellent. Analyze and structure the comparison data, design and develop the interactive comparison chart, deploy the comparison chart online, so it's going to give me a website, and then deliver final results to the user. You can interrupt me at any time. Okay, so now, okay, it's picked up and found EasyGrader as one of the tools. So hopefully this will give me a nice library of about 100 tools for education. But on EasyGrader, it looks like they're looking into their blog 
which has uh, listed quite a few different tools. Okay, I have a feeling this is going to take a while, so I'm going to hit the pause button. I'll let you know how, uh, how long this is going to be when I come back. Okay, I just wanted to pop back. It's been about five minutes, but they were just going through some of the AI presentation tools and they looked at beautiful AI, Gamma, some of the ones that I had been looking at. So that's why I just wanted to quickly, here we, here we go, Gamma, Magic Slides, beautiful AI, different presentation slide uh, AI tools, Tome, Slides Go. So I've researched all of those. So it'd be great to actually have a side-by-side -side comparison of those. Uh, this is still going. It's only been five minutes so far. That, look, look at this, a, like a, a nice chart. And it's going through another website. So I'm going to hit the pause button again and see you in a little while. OK, I thought I'd just pop in again to show you what stage they're at. So this has been about 15 minutes now. And it's gathering data, pricing features for Magic School, AI, Grammarly, Synthesia, adding them to the analysis uh, framework. It's talking about Magic School at the moment. So it really is giving me as uh, the name suggests, wide research on this topic. So I'm going to hit the pause button because I have a feeling this is going to take a little bit longer because it's three out of six. If you have a look down here, it's three out of six steps. So it's about halfway through. So I imagine it will be another 15 minutes. OK, see you in a bit. I've come back because it looks like it's at step six of the whole project. And I can see also that there's, uh, let me just move myself over. I'm attaching all the comprehensive research and analysis files created during this project. You can see some nice uh, charts here. Then I've got uh, a temporary uh, deployment of an AI education tool comparison matrix here. And then there's all sorts of files. Okay, so. Uh, Manus is working to deliver final results to the user. Here we go. All right, so uh, let's click on this URL in a moment to see whether we do have a comprehensive list of AI educational tools. And this has taken about 32 minutes. Okay, so it's taken about 32 minutes to get to this stage. Um, and it says it's completed, project completed. Okay, so let's have a look. I'm going to look at the summary before I click on the matrix. So 41 AI educational tools comprehensively analyzed. There are nine categories. So we have quiz tools, language learning, AI assistance, etc. cetera. Uh, there's interactive filtering by category, pricing, free tier. OK, I really hope that this works. Uh, real time search across tools, features, multiple sorting options, professional responsive design. OK, research highlights 70 percent of tools offer free tiers, 100 percent have global reach and availability, quiz and assessment tools dominate the market, freemium is the most popular pricing model, all educational levels are well presented. OK, so here is the test. Let me click on this URL and see if it's working. All right, OK. Here we go. AI Educational Tools Comparison Matrix. There are 41 tools. OK, so we've got a little filter here, which we'll look at later. Let me just scroll down to see what they've got. So ChatGPT, OK, Claude, Gemini. Let's just test to see whether this uh, website's working. I have to use uh, Gemini, I think, because in Hong Kong I need a VPN. Yep, here we go. That is the correct link as well. All right, let's just come down. We've got Gamma, Magic Slides, Magic School AI. Then we've got Brisk. These are all on my list as well. Quizzes, FlexiQuiz, Test Portal, Conquer, Magic Form App. OK, so let's, I mean, look at this. This is like a great comprehensive list. I'm going to put the link in the comment section below. And, uh, you know, the links do work, right? Let's just test the Duolingo link. OK, does that work? Does that take me to Duolingo? Yep, Duolingo.com. Yep, OK. So far, the couple of the links I've tested are correct. All right, let's try the filter now. OK, nine categories. What are those categories, actually, I wonder? So here's the categories. Tutoring platforms, chatbots, language, 
learning, presentation tools, quiz and assessment, specialized learning, teacher assistance, video creation and writing assistance. I'm going to go to presentation tools. Okay, so already I've got these two. Now that's really interesting because I saw in the research, they actually did look at beautiful AI and they did look at other models. So I wonder why they haven't included them. I've got all here, uh, paid only. Yep, no, so all, yeah. So I wonder why it didn't include all of those tools. Let's go to, um, let me see, chatbot and AI assistance. Okay, there's three. I mean, it's interesting. I asked for 100 tools and it's given me 41, right? So that's really interesting. Uh, what else? Video creation. Let's have a look at those. All right. I don't see Hey Jen here, which is interesting. That's one that I use. So I can't say this is really comprehensive, but it's not a bad start. Like, honestly, it's not a bad start. So let me just look at all categories. So again, 41 tools. Um, it's not a bad start. I would probably, and I'm not going to do it now, but I'd probably prompt again and say, you've only given me 41 tools. You missed out on some of the tools that you research, such as beautiful AI, etc. Uh, I don't think this is a comprehensive list, but I do think it's good that it tells me it's free, freemium, uh, what the category is, and then gives me the link. So it is a great start, to be honest. It's not comprehensive, but it's a great start. Uh, 41's not a bad number. Okay, let's go to see what else Manus delivered in this package. So detailed methodology. Okay, so here's the markdown file. I'm just going to move myself over. There's a summary here and how Manus researched the different educational AI tools. All right. Okay, um, at least we can see the process of how it got to this. And then what else is there? View files for this task. Yep, we actually, yep, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to publish this, am I? Because it says deploy permanently. I'm just going to give you a link so you can see that I can actually share a link with you. Uh, here we go, share. So I can share a link with you. I'll put the link below so that you can have a look yourself. Um, but this is not a bad start. I mean, I, I'm kind of like, I want to know what this is. So let me move myself over. Oh, it's kind of given me an analysis of free tools, um, geographical reach, category versus pricing, distribution. Okay, interesting. What else has they? What else have they got here? Uh, there's an Excel sheet. Okay, so the Excel sheet. Let's have a look at the Excel sheet because sometimes we want it in a CSV format. Great, and we can just add to it, right? So my follow-up prompt probably would be like, you know, give me 50 more or um, 49 more to make it 100 because I did ask for 100 and I know that there are a lot of educational AI tools out there, more than 41. So I wonder how it selected just the 41. Um, let me see. Is there anything else that I want to um, look at? No, I think, oh, okay, so the follow-up prompts, it could be, I could create a presentation based on the key insights, summarize the future enhancement recommendations, analyze the pricing model. So this is pretty good. I, I'm pretty impressed with Manus, really. Um, I just want to quickly show you, when I go to new task, okay, so that's memorized it for me, uh, and I scroll down, I have some recommended uh, already made Manus outputs. So whether it's a document on research therapeutics for ME or CFS, or look, I've got uh, a web page about Tangled Social uh, Guide site. So there's some, uh, you know, pre-made Manus research tools and uh, in different formats. Then I have the research here. So I've got, look, density map of Indian leopards. Uh, Africa and Israel's connection, before, you know, before the Zeus Canal. And then look, look at all these. I'm going to press the edu, the education one. A chemistry uh, experiment demonstration. Oh, I've got to watch this. My goodness. And look, preparing slides for quantum. Okay, physics basic explanation. Okay, I'm going to have to play this video. So let me just move myself over. I'm, ju I'm, I'm just going to play this video and then you can just ex explore yourself. Okay. Okay. So it's just a little demo. Yeah. 
skip to result. Yep, this is just replaying. I'm just going to skip to results because we don't want to uh, keep. Oh, here we go. Here's the video. All right. Here we go. Wow, the quality of this is pretty good. And I can download this video. This is everything that I need for the experiment. Of course, the goggles are really important. What's happening now? Let me just check how long this is because I don't want to be not TV in time. Oh, experiment snakes in the kitchen. Oh, I hate snakes. I'm scared of snakes. Wow. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to stop playing it now because I, I'm, a, I'm scared of snakes. I didn't know that was going to come up. Oh, but this is about the sugar snake. So this is calcium gluconate, gluconate combustion experiment. Okay, and then it tells you all the scenes. I mean, I'm so impressive, Manus. You, you're just phenomenal. Let me go back to the homepage. So please have a look at the, the education little tab. It's got these slides, web pages, videos that have already been created. Um, fantastic. Look, crossword puzzle generator. Okay, so that was just a quick exploration using the wide research in Manus, and I'm so impressed. And they also had all these other pre-made resources for education under the education category, looking at websites, slides, videos that are being created for different lessons. I'm so impressed with Manus. I got, I've got to stress this is, video is not sponsored by Manus at all. I'm just finding that there's just so many functionalities. It's so versatile and it's almost become my go-to AI tool for everything. Um, I'm using Poe less and less. I tend to use Poe for all of the reasoning models uh, as a mathematician, as a math educator. I use a lot of the reasoning models, but Actually, Manus, you know, really provides me with everything that I need on a daily basis. So I'm going to put um, the link to what I just widely researched just then uh, in the comment section below. And if you've tried Manus and the wide research, I'd love for you to share the link and let me see uh, what you've been researching. Thank you so much for joining me this week and I hope to see you next time.